Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Infinite Potatoes back here with another Battlefront Blaster Guide. Today we are going to be diving into the A280 Blaster Rifle for the Assault Class. I'll be going over its different weapon attachments and how they affect the blaster, all the statistics we know about it, and tactics and tips to help you become the best with this blaster. In the description, I'll have the timestamps so you can easily find your way through this video. But I'd suggest staying for the whole video because you might learn something new. The A280 is the first blaster you can unlock for the Assault Class. To unlock, you have to defeat 50 enemies with the Assault Class. You can use any weapon. Or even SAR cards. The A280, one of the few burst weapons in Battlefront 2. A burst weapon is a type of weapon that shoots out multiple shots with one touch of the trigger. The A280 has a 3 shot burst, which is reminiscent of the E3 from Battlefront 1. The main thing that differentiates the A280 from the E3 is that the A280 has a fixed burst, meaning that you can't speed up the burst any faster than it was made to go. This blaster is made for close to medium range combat. This won't be the E3 being able to snipe better than snipers. The A280 itself is just good at everything. Good, not great. But in the hands of the right player, and matched with the right modifications, this blaster may become one of your favorites in your arsenal. Let's move on to the modifications for this blaster. The first modification that you can unlock for the A280 is the dual zoom mod. You need to defeat 50 enemies with the A280 to unlock it. The dual zoom mod, well you guessed it, gives you adjustable dual magnification. When ADSing, aiming down sight, you have an actual scope to look through instead of the third person view being zoomed in. And if you press the right stick click on your controller, it activates the toggleable dual zoom. What this does is it makes it a lot e easier to hit enemies at distances because they become extremely large. It helps for the people who want to try sniping with this blaster, even though I wouldn't suggest trying to snipe because the recoil is already hard to control. And when this mod is activated, it makes it even harder. The second modification is improved cooling this mod. You need to defeat 150 enemies with the A280 to unlock this mod. The improved cooling mod makes your blaster bolts take up less cooling power, which allows you to fire more before overheating. This may be beneficial in a drawn out gunfight. If your blaster overheats first, then you're going to have a big problem. It'll leave you defenseless and in most cases you'll just die. The A280 can shoot off 7 bursts at the max bursting rate without overheating. With the cooling mod on, the A280 can shoot off 9 bursts at max bursting rate without overheating. Now this might appeal to you, or it might not, but remember, I said max bursting. If you take a half a second in between each burst, you'll be able to fire even more without overheating. The third modification for the A280 is the improved range mod. In order to unlock it, you have to defeat up 250 enemies with the A280. What the improved range mod does is it helps sustain the damage output of your blaster for farther distances. So it doesn't add accuracy or lower the weapon's recoil, but it keeps the damage somewhat higher at longer distances. This in itself is a good modification, except for the fact that it doesn't help the gun much, due to its high recoil and inaccurate bullet spread at distances. Now let's move on to strategies, tips, and tricks. As I mentioned earlier in this video, the A280 is an all around good weapon, but your job as the player is to make it a great weapon. The two attachments I'd suggest having on your blaster is the first two I mentioned in this video, the dual zoom and the improved cooling. I personally think this works best, this gun works best in close quarter combat, CQC. Some will disagree, but that's where I do best with it. I like having improved cooling activated so I can defeat multiple enemies at a time. To maximize the fact that it's a burst rifle and the, to deal the most damage is to go for headshots. Because it's a burst rifle, it fires three shots really quickly, which makes it somewhat easier to hit more than one headshot at a time. If you aim for the upper torso, you can still get a headshot because of the high recoil of the A280. This blaster mostly takes time to get used to and to master. 
Another tip I'd like to throw in is that if you hip fire instead of ADS and that sight, there will be a significantly less amount of recoil on your blaster. Here's one big thing that most people forget about, or don't even think to do. If you purposely overheat your blaster, you can then continue to do the cooling flush. And if you land it on the gold bar, you'll get a bunch of extra time to spam your A280 without having to worry about the overheat. If you, bur if you time your burst slightly slower, you'll, ha you'll be able to fire a lot more. If you wait for the red overheat meter to start going down in between bursts, you can become more efficient. But remember, this is only utilizing your primary weapon. If it becomes desperate and you're in CQC, feel free to pull out your vanguard in this if the situation calls for it. A lot of people don't enjoy using this blaster, but if you know how to use it and have knowledge on where it works best for you, you can end up enjoying this blaster as much as I did. If you have any tips for the A280, let everyone know in the comments section, and feel free to help each other out. If you guys enjoyed the video or learned something new, feel free to drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe for more Battlefront 2 content, such as more Battlefront 2 blaster guides, such as this one, and more. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you on the Battlefront.